Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, Galloping Goose bike trail starting Victoria uh, near the uptown area. Get a nice overpass over the over Highway One. You'll love riding over this bridge during the weekday when traffic is just—it's a parking lot on there. All the road crossings are well marked, crosswalks, more major roads. Uh, cars have to stop. There are stop signs. Share the path with runners. I've always got a heads up here beside the Red Lion Pub. Something makes me nervous about guys coming out of the bar. Crossing out a bike bike trail. If you've never been on the trail, it's a little tricky to get your bearings because you're off the beaten track. We're near Mayfair Mall right now. Lots of road crossings around here, obviously. Some cool graffiti. Nice tunnel coming up. Always dig the the art, urban art, or graffiti, however you want to look at it. It's quite beautiful. It's actually murals on that one. Coming up to the gorge soon. It's a gorge waterway. More awesome murals there. Some great condos around here. If anyone's looking for waterfront real estate. Pretty nice. This is one of my favorite parts of the trail. Waterway is usually full of kayakers. There's a lot going on around here. 
this is a real area to watch. The gorge in Vic West. See off to the left. Loads of new condos. Kind of urban, urban industrial architecture. Option here to veer off to the right, head up to Esquimalt, or the left here to go downtown. Real neat area here. I don't know what the neighborhood's called. High density and urban chic. Very bike friendly. Coming up to the Bay Street Bridge. Lots of new condos and offices. There's a nice gym here. Off to the right. That's the infill. The coffee shops. All the government offices here. Cafe. Now we're entering Point Hope Shipyards neighborhood. Well, I'm tired this morning. I worked out last night. Lots of murals here. I love the art. The city installed a nice um, pedestrian controlled intersection up here. There's a button for cyclists. See the bike lanes well marked. We'll just hit the button. It'll give us a green light shortly. And we'll be turning left over to Johnson Street. This is essentially the boundary between Vic West and the Swimelt and Vic City of Victoria. We should get a green light one of these days. There we go. So, we're going to be going over one of my favorite historic landmarks in Victoria that the city, in all their wisdom, has decided to destroy and remove. Pardon the language, but it's a huge cluster park. Cyclists 
head right away in the lane. This bridge is one of Victoria's most visible landmarks. Shame on the planners for putting it on the chopping blocks. That's the urban geographer in me. And now we're in downtown Victoria, so I'm going to pause this video.